If we, if all we had were destinies and Nicole Doshies, <laughs> who's gonna fix your toilet? Nobody the does. Po- you I might be able to get a it. mean blowjob, and you might be able to <laughs> entertain yourself watching this blue-haired guy on stream, but you're not gonna how, be able. How about to, this? How about this? The let's, toilet is clogged. Let's do a thousand-dollar bet. I'll call one hundred plumbers to this studio. If one is a female, I'll give you ten <laughs> bands on PayPal live. I promise I will fucking bleed Adam dry. Yeah, He's so, he wants to be all like, oh, I'm fucking inclusive. He would get bankrupt <laughs> with that fucking opinion. He what, would never do it. What percentage of plumbers are men? 95. I have never seen 99. 99. Plumber. It's 99? Yeah. yeah. Approximately 99% of plumbers, pipe fitters, and steam fitters in the United States were men. We need yeah. to do something to bring more women into the plumbing industry. I can't they name one it. woman who would want to What is the point of this argument? Industry. Most nurses are women. Like, why are you just no, doing no, no. an industry that's most male women trying are, to do something Most like women are nurses because they just can't be doctors. Number two. <laughs> okay, you, why can't, yeah, that's not true. Why can't you adopt the same thing for plumbers? Maybe but check plumbers this out. wanted to do something else and they Here, couldn't. Here's so the why fu- are you just... A woman genetically is designed, they're not designed to think. They're actually designed to play. And a lot of people are like, that's sexist. Play is your subconscious. It's your sanity. Play is everything. You play with your child, Adam. Play is a huge word. It's not sexist to say that. Even though they're designed to take care of people, a male nurse can still lift more weight, so he's still better. Doctors by gender, female, 54%, male, 45%. That's how people are dying, that 54%. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine yeah. you're getting open-heart surgery, <laughs> and she's walking in, and it's that time of the month. Yeah, I'm, I see a bunch of things that say then, that then women out, outnumber men as doctors. Imagine you're getting open-heart surgery, and she's on her period, and then you're both <laughs> bleeding that day, bro. Jesus Christ. You're done. That, I hate how you guys pretend you feel comfortable with a female pilot. Stop it, man. You'd be more comfortable with a terrorist. <laughs> you really believe that? You, he really? wrote that straight yeah. out of Andrew Tate. And no, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't quoting, no, no. Yeah. I, you know why it's not from Andrew Tate? It is. Because no, no. It would be from Andrew Tate if I agreed about driving. To be honest, my he male. He said about my, pilots. No, he said about driving too. But and remember, I'm three years earlier than Andrew Tate. He watched me. I didn't watch him. What the fuck? Go Google me. What the fuck? But check this out. Male, my male friends drive recklessly. And women, you guys have trouble with parking. That's like when we're ho- holding on for dear life and shit. But I don't care about the driving thing as much. When you guys say women can drive, I'll let you have that. I'm like, yeah, I sometimes feel cozy with you guys. But on an airplane, I feel traumatized. If I see a female pilot, I, I start thinking Adam got to pay me more because I'm ditching this flight. I need another ticket. What are they doing up there that you think that a, a woman is not capable yeah. of? Yeah, roll the clip of the lady having a fucking mental breakdown and she's not even in uniform and she grabs the fucking phone and says, my husband and I are getting a divorce and I'm going through it. Everyone in the plane's like, and she got fired for this, but really they should have put her in jail. Imagine my mom was on that flight. She's like, I'm going through a fucking divorce. I just want to know I can go change into my uniform or I can just fly the fucking plane. That clip is huge on YouTube. When you see that clip, you go, whoa. Imagine you're on a fucking flight and a woman started doing that. So you're so emotional and irrational and stupid that you see one video online and that makes you not want to trust I've, half the population? I've never, seen a, I've never seen a male pilot do that, ever. How many pilots have you really observed yeah, in general? Yeah. Have you done yeah. Are you, I go to the cockpit. I'm like, you got a cock or what, bro? Well, there's got to be a lot, of, a lot of pilots who've done some fucked up shit over yeah, the years that yeah. we're just not really privy to, right? Yeah. yeah. If one of your family members died on a plane that was being piloted by a man, would you no longer go on a male piloted plane? No, because I'd be like, holy fuck. You wouldn't, you wouldn't attribute it to his gender. Well, no, I, I, I wouldn't care anyway, though. Most pilots gender. are not women anyway. So it's no, like, I, that like sounds like a, that's like a fluke. That's like saying like a man lost a fight to a woman. That's a fluke. I'm not gonna change my whole fucking psychology for a fluke. So well, wouldn't that woman having worse? a breakdown about her divorce be a fluke as that well? Fluke. That doesn't happen yeah. every day. Uh, but can it? it so are the you guys? Guy could crush it you, as well. Your argument is women are emotionally stable. That's not what I'm arguing at all. They're I'm not. arguing that both of those things are flukes, but it's a fucking irrelevant argument anyway because most pilots are men, so you it, don't if, really have to worry about it. If a man was going through a divorce, he'd just land the plane and use his fucking badge to get some other bitch. <laughs> he'd just land the plane, right? I'm not saying she crashed that plane. I'm saying the anxiety she brought to that flight, no man in, in internet history has ever done that, right? Not even, ter- even terrorists are polite. No one grabs the fucking intercom and starts traumatizing children. 
at least, you know, terrorists will be like, you know, there's a one-way flight and we're going into that building. No, there's no one in history who's grabbed the fucking phone and started yelling, I'm going through a divorce. Could you imagine if you were, imagine your toddler, like, uh, let's say you, your, your kid was eight, let's say eight years old. Imagine they're on that plane traumatized. You'd be like, whoa. Yeah. They'd never fly again. I still wouldn't really consider it an indictment of female yeah. pilots in general. No. Mm -hmm. Really just that one specific pilot. Yeah. Uh, they, women are good at being kindergarten teachers. <laughs> like, they do seem to excel at teaching in general. Yeah. Well, all, I feel like a lot, most men aren't necessarily even attracted to the job. Yeah, no. If, if you're a man and you're a kindergarten teacher, that's a pedophile, bro. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking weird, bro. Why? I don't know, Adam. I don't want to explore this You wouldn't want to, like, educate though. a child? Like, you couldn't see the appeal in that? I could think of a lot better things to do in terms of, like, how much money I could make you from feel, it. You're going to drop your kid off to a male kindergarten teacher? That well, is You're so really making weird. me think a little bit more about yeah. it now. But in general, yeah, it would be... I think I'm... Uh, what, what if, like, what is it about the job that you think makes it so hard for you to believe that they could really have that profession? It's a, like a weak temperament male is very scary. Right. A lot of the dudes that were teachers when I was in high school really were fucking the biggest weirdo yeah, losers yeah. ever. Yeah. Like freaking out, screaming at the class, yeah. like super beta male, like just angry fucking weirdos. Because it's like, think about it. You're a teacher at a high school in Nashua, New Hampshire. Jesus Christ. You know, like things really probably haven't worked out the way that you kind of imagined that they were going to at a certain point. But I will tell you one way in which men are superior to women. Cleaning of genitalia. Let me just say. Cleaning, period. Women, their vagina, in order to clean it, it requires a whole kit, a bag of sorts. There's just all kinds of different techniques that are implied. Whereas me, I could take puddle water and splash it on my cock and then wipe it off with an old greasy rag. This is hurting your fucking porn <laughs> career. Someone's watching this. I'm not saying I do worst. clean my dick that way. I'm just saying you could give a, a dick a good rub Without a much, rinse. yeah, a good yeah. rinse. You know, you could you could you could clean it off well, pretty easily. If you give easily. a girl a water bottle, she could just squeeze, I feel like you know, a, squeeze it right in there, and then you're good a to go. A dick is a lot more clean than the hole, like a hole. It's like an open wound. Well, yeah, because yeah. it's internal. There's stuff. There's bacteria in there. Yeah. There's DNA and All blood. Kinds of shit. There's blood. There's blood. Gross. There's a lot of different smells. You don't know what you're gonna encounter down Do there. Do you run red lights? I wouldn't say I like run a fully. Oh, you mean the period thing? Okay. What? Uh, <laughs> I took it very literally at first. Uh, I'll answer it both ways. First, I'm perfectly happy to run a yellow light or orange, whatever the fuck it is, as it's turning red. It also like I, I kind of have to do the math in my head. Like, what are the odds that there's going to be a cop in this vicinity? Normally, where I live, I don't see that many cops, so I'm not that worried about kind of running the red light. But I'm not going to like pull up to a red light, fully stop, and then just. Look around and be like, oh, no, fuck I'm it, I'm going. I'm talking about having sex on her period. Well, now I'll answer that part. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, no, I'm down to have sex on the period for sure. It can get a little gross sometimes, but yeah, I'm, I'm down. Is that like lights off? No. I mean, maybe. Oh, I might, we'll put a towel down probably. But then again, also, like, I mean, you could just get the bed dirty. This is such a good one. Why are women sad today? Like, purchasing power has gone up. You guys are, like, getting rich. Why are you guys sad? Maybe not you two. But all your friends and every single woman on earth. Are you? Are you well, sad? Why are they sad? Why are they, are I don't men, know. I why are like you men guys are sad? sad as well? Yeah, but we got real excuses to be sad, right? Why are you guys sad? You guys, I'm not sad. I'm not sad. <laughs> I feel like the majority of women that would be sad would be unattractive women. That would make really? me sad. If yeah. Nicole Doshi was sad, I feel like it would make me sad because mm -hmm. I just like I feel like that would kind of ruin the whole thing for me. Part of my appeal for Nicole Doshi is that she kind of has no emotion besides horny. <laughs> and I'm not saying that that's how it should be. I'm just saying that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just so happy to be here. You know, every time I see Adam, I'm like, oh, a light up. <laughs> Ooh, clout. Ah, ah, let me bathe <laughs> in it for a second. He's going to put me on his story. <laughs> Man gets sad sometimes, like they can't get girls. Yeah, you know, they can't. Well, it's like eighty percent of men don't have sex or something. I'd be yeah. fucking sad. I'm starting to believe that statistic. Is it real? Yeah, yeah. It, women eighty sleep percent of like men the, don't have sex. Women sleep with like the same twenty percent of men. Yeah, yeah, Adam, like the grocery store guy bagging shit up. He's he, not fucking. He get, yeah, he gets a once in a the blue plumber, moon. The plumber, the ninety-nine percent plumber, they ain't <laughs> fucking. I'm trying to get him yeah. some. Pussy. You know, you know why I believe that? Any girl I've been with, I find out Hollywood celebrities hit it. 
yeah. before me, and I'm like, I'm sharing with Leonardo DiCaprio. We all fuck what? the same guys, every single one. Well, especially you guys especially in the porn us. world. Yeah. Yeah, but. We fuck the same person. Yeah, but even in like Australia, like I grew up in like a small town, the percentage of guys that were getting pussy there was minor, real really? minor. But yeah. If you think about it, it's like, why wouldn't Drake have fucked your girlfriend first, you know? Like, he probably is a, like, he's got more access to mm. more chicks. He knows who they are. He's probably got a whole team of guys sitting in a room just looking for hot chicks on Instagram for him. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500K. Yeah.